Welcome to the Article Linux B tutorial of Article Linux B Plasma. Yes, we have a KDE or a Plasma version of Article Linux, and it's uh, already there in uh, in GitHub. If you want to install via Article Linux D, so the learning ISO, or if you want to build it yourself, and I'm going to show you how to build yourself in Phase Four. You have our vision and our vision is maybe something you should check because I want to explain to you that we can actually have three kind of installations. The big one, two gigabytes and the small one, Article Linux D, and then you run your scripts or you just run a script and then get a ISO. So three ways now to install and this is about this one. So we're going to get something like this in a few minutes time. All you need to do is follow a few procedures. We need to git clone this from the internet. So control C. Gonna put this on my desktop. Right mouse click, open terminal here, control shift V. Might be a good idea to quickly set up screen key. So you need to see what I press. So we have um, the GitHub here. And then we need to install it. And the only thing you need to know is that there is a build here, ISO, right mouse click, open terminal here. And then we say, let's build this guy with number 30. And you type in your password. And then you have to wait because it's deleting at this point in time the previous build, build, build folder. So it takes a while. And the only thing we can do is wait. Then it's going to get uh, information. You see, you can read and follow what it's doing. So phase two, phase three, phase four. Do you want to, to delete? Yes, and yes, and yes. First time you read it, and if you've done it this many times as I have, you don't read it anymore. So three times, yes. I'm going to pause the video and wait till the ISO pops out. And there we go, we have now an Arco Linux B Plasma. And as you see, maybe you can't see it, down here it says 2.8 gigabytes. So Plasma costs us 800 megabytes just for the desktop. Let's move it to a specific folder. So it's going to the desktops, that's uh, documents, I mean. And there I can keep it because the Arco Linux built folder will be overwritten every time you build something new try something out it's gone so i'm moving the iso which is basically hiding in your other Linux b in the build in the out this is the thing you're going to mount in your virtual box and try out and if you say hey i don't like it uh, doesn't work i want something else i want more icons i want less icons i want more browsers I want Steam, I want etc. etc. You add it to your packages both. That's where you start all the way back. So in here, whoops, not in there. You go to your Arc Linux B in my case, Plasma. And here in here in this package is both, you just edit the things you don't want and add the things you do want. So for the Arch Linux stuff is best to keep off, but for instance, Mockshot as you already can go because Mockshot is something for XFCE. So I'm going to update this as well. And there are lots of more things we can spare some megabytes on, which I don't like or don't use. And Pete maybe you don't use it either, and so on and so on. You keep adding hashtags in front of it. But to be fair, um, I've taken all the packages, both are all the same. So you see more or less uh, what is the difference between one desktop and the other and we have already quite a collection so we could have a look at this one nope no collection this pc there are two pcs so we can't compare here anyway the most of the iso builds are two gigabytes but this guy is 2.8 so that's gone because of the plasma uh, desktop environment Anyway, enjoy your new Arco Linux B plasma system. All right, cheers.